there people, this is Bruce McCall, all in Tembrus here, and we are back on Dust Hardcore mode, um, where things really are hardcore. Oh, couldn't even finish my combo there. Come back here. So, yeah, for those of you who watched the last episode, you'd have seen that I've used my Revival Stone straight away, which holds very, very well for, uh, for the rest of the Let's Play, doesn't it? Um, but we did level up a bit. We do have a bit more health. Um, for those of you just sort of not in a loop, uh, compared to normal mode if you played before, the save points do not regenerate your health up to halfway anymore. Um, the enemies can take a few of your hits as well, uh, so you've got to be careful when you're getting swarmed, even if it's by one enemy, which isn't really a swarm. Oh, there we go, beautiful. And uh, again, it looks like experience and combos are going to be key here, especially if you want to level up a bit quicker than normal. I don't know, in the last playthrough though that I did, which obviously wasn't recorded, otherwise you guys <laughs> would have seen this already, um, combos were easy enough, they really were. You could do what you want and um, there's even an achievement for getting a 1000 hit combo which you can get quite early uh, in the game here. Oh boy! Oh and yep, have that juggle in there. Look at this. Oh dear. Oh, and another level up already. We're going to have to oh, attack. We shall. Oh, even defense actually. You know what? I might go for some defense here. Because even though I can't finish them off quicker uh, with a lower attack, at least I'll be able to take a few more hits and use the fruit a bit more sparingly. So yeah, that's the hypothesis anyway. I mean, Fidget's pretty good either way. Ooh, our first little item. Let's wear it. Oh no, it's a blueprint. God damn it. <laughs> we definitely won't have picked anything up yet. Well, we do have a spare treasure key. That's good. So yeah, as you saw there, inventory. You can wear stuff to, as much as like most RPGs, increase your uh, attack, defense, luck. Uh, even gold and item drop abilities. Oh, damn, didn't want the chain to end there, but it's fine. Okay. Oh. You know what, I hope we get some more of the... the tip of the... It's more, it's more like the acknowledgement to other games, really. Uh, I've mentioned it briefly in my last episode, where there's a lot of references. I mean, you guys already saw the the chicken in the wall. Whoops. Oh, boy. That's going to use up a lot of energy if I'm not careful. There we go. That will do. Oh, out of energy. Maybe not. Lovely. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, references to other games. I don't want to spoil it. But for those of you who are into your games, there's a bit of Resident Evil 4, believe it or not. Um, there's... Ooh, I keep missing out on treasure. I've got a feeling I'm just missing things. Soon find out, anyway. Anyway, we'll concentrate on combat and levelling up and getting things... Oh! And... Oh, oh, that guy almost had me. The good thing with that fidget storm, I guess you could say, is that you can do it while attacking. Like, you don't have to press the energy button and then do the... Uh... Although that's what you'd normally get used to. But yeah, the controls in this game are so, so fluid. They really are. I mean, in a nutshell, if there's a mistake, it's more than likely your mistake. Here you go, aerial dust storm now. We are getting our bits and pieces. So basically we can evade and knock things out of the way, which is nice. So for example, I mean, look at that. This will be very helpful as well for finding out certain secrets a little on, a little later. Oh, there we go, beautiful, beautiful. I don't think I've ever damaged myself with the storm yet. 
And you guys saw earlier on that that guy, or rather the sword mentioned, oh, if you use the dust storm too much, then you do damage yourself. But I have yet to actually do that. Oh, oh, man! I always get a bit shaky when the enemy is still standing after all this, uh, all this battering. <laughs> Okay, right. So there we go, there's a treasure key. I will probably backtrack a little bit later, but I'll do it after I've leveled up and gained a few abilities and so forth, and I'll probably speed through it. Right, here we go, more of a button combination again. There we go, six hits there. But I can tell that's going to be vital. You need the money for blueprints as well. Oh, look at this. Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? Oh, they're the worst. The merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. Psh, I wasn't frightened. Just surprised at the, uh, savings. <laughs> Come on, let's talk to him. This is such a good game, it really is. Even for the little storylines. I've been expecting you, stranger. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. Shall we conduct business? Okay, so with this guy, as you could tell, you can buy stuff if you want. It looks like gold is going to be quite rare on hardcore mode, so I won't be buying too much. But you get the point. The other thing is, though, you can actually sell him materials, which he'll probably mention, I think. Uh, before you leave, might I propose an offer? That would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold, you are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I can offer you materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am... Not from around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. <laughs> Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, he'll buy them at a high price. I... well, yes. Yes, I will. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. And I hope you guys caught the Resident Evil 4 reference there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, there are plenty of little references in this game. And it's for all things. It really is. Okay, so switch to cell mode. So here's all the things we're picking up. And as the guy said, uh, when we sell them to him, he then can finally catalogue them and start gaining more of those items. Which you will need with some of the rarest stuff here. Okay, beautiful. Your transaction is most appreciated. The materials you've sold me will be quite useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. I also share my stock with other merchants. With our help, you will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. And there we are, so even though he is a bit creepy, he really does help us. So... I've, man, even though I've done this game on normal and fairly recently, I really forget where to go. Let's, let's go over here, shall we? You've discovered a bomb fruit, use the dust on... Oh yeah, do you guys remember there was a little wall which was yellow and stuff? Okay, and if we just hurry along a little bit... Look at this! How about that? And every time you bust that wall, mysterious wall chicken. Brilliant. I believe that recovers 80 health as well, so that will be invaluable. On normal mode, I did collect about 90 of the bloody things, <laughs> like stored in my inventory. So, again, you know, hardcore mode is built for, uh, for guys like me who like to store stuff but uh, never use it, and end up just underestimating the game on hardcore mode or, or on a harder difficulty. Here we go, save point, good stuff. 
bearing in mind again, guys, haven't um, haven't even passed chapter zero yet. There we go, lovely. That's a good little thing with Fidget's healthy attack as well. Like when there's no enemies on screen, it will just disperse. Like uh, I won't say randomly, um, but it will be in a sort of like this nothing there motion. But then when they home in on something, you know where to go for the next items or pe or people or whatever. Ah, ah, give me those things. There we go. And yes, the items do wear out if you're too slow. Whoops. <laughs> Again, even hitting the even hitting the wall is fluid. That, even that feels satisfying, you know. Okay, well, guess what? There was a little bomb fruit over here. And oh, come on, over here, little bomb fruit. Some of the trickier walls for secrets do get a bit long, or rather, oh, that is a horrible enemy. This is going to be absolutely horrible. Oh, the bomb fruit got it. Nice. Yeah, that enemy is super tough when starting the game. Ah. Oh. Take a wild guess and say we need four keys. That might be right. Oh, so close. Hopefully there's a key there, because I really want to show you guys the surprise for those of you that don't know. Okay, bam. Mysterious wall chicken. Ah, oh, we need to master the ability to slide, which isn't until much later in the game to get under there. But don't worry, if we get a little key... I'll, uh, I'll show you the little surprise. In fact, wasn't there a key? No, that was in the last frame, actually. Ignore me. There we go. It picked him up. Oh, bam. There we go. See, I love that dust storm in midair again. You could just, you know, let rip, avoid attacks, and uh, usually be safe. Usually. Ah, ah. One thing you'd notice with my joystick, which is becoming an irritant slave for folks, is when standing stationary, it will just sometimes look left. Very annoying. Okay, yep, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah. Oops, somehow I missed him. Okay, whew. Oh, need a key, need a key, you need to show you that surprise, people. Ah, uh, that will do. Oh god, that will probably trigger off everything else. Don't matter, though. <laughs> okay, where to now? Where to now? Oh. Dust, there's something up there. Not a problem at all. Stand back. Alright, I've got it. Wait. No. Oh. oh dear. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Ah, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Indeed there is, indeed there is. Oh boy, okay. There we go, counter. You have to counter and daze it, otherwise uh, bad things happen. They are very powerful. Uh, uh, juggle, 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 juggle. There we go. Notice how many gold bags come out of them, you know? Okay. Well, this is a pleasant little area, isn't it? Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's another one of those spiky slime things. Their persistence will give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Allow it to strike. Hey, you dazed it! A 
Attack and hold X at the moment of the enemy's strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. There we go. Lovely. Well, obviously I showed you guys the parry technique anyway. But that was just a better explanation of it. I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, Fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet. But, uh, I would appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> oh, hello. You surprised me there. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes. It's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Dust. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. Let's get going. Yes, please hurry. Be careful. Okay, and we are getting to our first little boss for Chapter Zero. Alright, we definitely need to save this. Depending on difficult level, save monuments will also restore some of your health. Not on hardcore. Okay. Here we go, people. Look! Please, help us! Oh. Ah, look at the size of that thing! Don't worry, I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Now, the problem is, I'm going to have to get rid of those big enemies first because otherwise, this is going to be a super pain. Luckily, he's not actually moving, which is nice, so I'll just stand back and, you know, fire a few of these. Why not, eh? Oh, God, he's coming. <laughs> okay, so we've got to learn to parry. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, wait for it. Oh god, that was the wrong time for to level up. That totally uh, made me miss time myself. Oh, and there we are. It's all about the parry. It looks easy, but on hardcore mode, there's obviously always that danger of uh, of miss timing and then just having all your health obliterated. Oh dear. Don't worry, we'll hide over here. And. Oh. Oh. That's the other problem. Oh my, it finished me off in one hit. How about that, guys? See, that's what it's. That's what it's gonna do. One hit, as I was talking about. As I was talking about. Right, I'll see if I just speed through this bit. Okay, right in the middle of this, let's just bring the attack up a little bit. Oh, look at that. The health is actually going down a lot quicker then. I was getting worried that I didn't finish my attack. <laughs> okay, this should be easier now. This should be easier. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, come on finish this guy off quicker, which would be nice. Oh, 
Okay, and... No, not quite. Okay. And, right. There we go. So, attack was the right method. I should have followed my instincts from my last game, really. Oh, whoa, that was a... A lovely little dodge out of the way. A lovely, smooth little dodge. And bam, bam, bam. Whew. Yeah, I think that's it. Well done, Dust. You have proven yourself a worthy swordsmaster, and none too soon. Bah, they weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And Dust was there. Oh, thank you so much. What happened here? I, I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end, Dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? Yes, I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey, who are you calling weak? Well, there you have it, folks. Oh, boy, that was tough. That was tough. I don't know why, though. It wasn't because I was getting stood on. It was because I their foot was coming up and like I don't know toe capping me or something and there we are we are now on chapter one <laughs> I believe this is Aurora village so main portal call here beautiful just beautiful so now we get to relax a little bit and earn a few missions but I'm afraid that's gonna be in the next episode I am gonna have to leave it there but yeah, that was quite exciting. Never thought I would die to those giants. I, I didn't even come close to dying in the uh, in my normal playthrough. And again, that just goes to show how much a difficulty change can just, well, rip through you, really. <laughs> so, pop your comments in the section below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, again, kind of exciting there with a, a little boss fight there. And until next time, guys, you take care, and I will see you again soon.